Social media is, is scary for advertisers because you're not in control. So first and foremost, as an advertiser, as a marketer, you have to embrace not being in control. You have to let go. Um, people are going to say things about your brand that you don't control, that you can't control. You have to be okay with that. You have to listen to what they're saying. And if they're saying something that you don't want them to say, you have to respond to that, focus on what you do want them to say, and then influence their friends and their colleagues to say that and move the conversation in the direction that you want. So in addition to being comfortable about losing control, um, you also have to be comfortable um, about the format, right? It's a much shorter format. If you think about a tweet, it's 140 characters. This is not about 30 second spots and rich media experiences where you're sitting there at your computer and you're getting overwhelmed with imagery and sound. This is about you know, your friend or this person that you follow on Twitter um, says something and that impacts thousands of followers even though they've only said you know, six words. Right? That is the new advertising format. It's not about um, the, what I, what I like to say is it's um, low bandwidth but very high engagement. Right? We tend to think that you need very high bandwidth to have high engagement but in a social setting, it's really about the authenticity and the trust of the message, not about how rich and how many bells and whistles it has. It's almost like a cocktail party, right? You want people to be talking about your brand um, independently in small groups. It's not about you're in an auditorium and there's a thousand people and you have them captive the way you did when there was ABC, CBS, and NBC. Whether you're in Facebook or you're in Twitter or you're in MySpace or you're in other social environments, you know, what our platform does is enable advertisers to pay to generate positive word of mouth. Um, everybody wants to think that you're going to create a great Nike ad with Tiger Woods and it's going to go viral on YouTube, but the reality is very few advertising campaigns get to that kind of scale on their own. In social, the message isn't going to go from the advertiser to the person, it's going to go from the advertiser through people to their friends and to their followers and to their colleagues.